uh, first that came online was the Summit Environmental Education and Conference Center, and then we opened Iron Ore Belt Access. The park itself was built in the early 80s by the Episcopal Diocese, and at that time it was just 300 acres, and it was their conference center. In the early 2000s, they approached the state and asked if we were interested in purchasing, and we were for three reasons. The first, obviously, being protecting the Hall River. The other two reasons is because of the environmental education, having that residential program. So we've continued that, and this area, um, being that the wetlands are our theme for environmental education, we have kids come and study. We've got um, all kinds of, of things we look at so the kids can see the, the creatures up close and personal. And then the third reason is we do a lot of conferences in-house as well. One of the reasons why they were looking for Hall River to be a, a state park, we have one of the few upland wooded areas of swamp. And so we've got this beautiful wetlands that is always in transition, always changing, and unusual to find in the Piedmont area. And to come and see the Hall River, you need to come to the summit section. Um, but to see just beautiful wetlands, we also have the Iron Ore Belt access. Um, and the trail, we have a 3.2 mile loop trail that goes along and you'll have two big sections that are along the, the wetland area. The summit is open to the public. Um, we do have um, a map that folks, if they come into the main office, which is the main lodge at the park, we'll show them how to get down to the wetlands. The boardwalk is a spur off the Piedmont Loop Trail, so we want to make sure they get to see that portion of it as well. Um, but they do need to call ahead to make sure of the park hours. We do have a lot of folks call and ask if they can paddle the, the Hall River. Um, and from here, you would be doing more walking than paddling because it is so small um, and so, so um, shallow. Definitely river otter, which is amazing to me. I didn't expect to see river otter, but we have a few that have popped up here and there. Uh, raccoons, obviously, are always here, and then deer. Um, so we'll see lots of footprints in the in the nice wet areas of, of the wetlands. Oh, we don't believe in snakes. I'm kidding. <laughs> yes, we do have a lot of water snakes in the area. Um, at Hall River and in the Piedmont area, the only venomous snake would be copperheads. Um, and they like to just hide off in the brush. So as long as you're staying on the trail, life is good. Okay. Oh, obviously the chain pickerel, which is in bloom right now, just a gorgeous purple to me. And my favorite is the marshmallow. Um, and I can see why that whoever decided to name marshmallow maybe had seen the marshmallow, which if you can see right behind me, it's nice, big, white, fluffy, um, and just beautiful. <laughs> A lot of folks, to me, just don't understand um, the importance, especially because they come down and go, okay, it's muggy, it's buggy, why should I care about them? Um, so for us to be able to talk about that and educate folks as to why they're so important um, and where they fit ecologically, to me, that's, that's great. To me, the wetlands serve so many different aspects, um, providing the habitat for all the different animals, um, but also providing that much needed place for all the overflow of the water to go to be able to get it filtered out. Um, and then we do a lot of trash pickup along the Hall River. Uh, and for that reason, to me, that's also a, a very important value. The last part of it is just for people to interact with the wetlands. Um, and to have that intrinsic value for them that a lot of folks don't get that chance to do. We ended up spending the entire day wading about waist deep in wetlands because I was sure that it was this direction and it was more this direction. <laughs> uh, but we had a great time. And one of the things that we found while we were out there and, you know, hooting and hollering because we were having a blast at that point, we actually found the rookery for the Great Blue Heron. And that's why we have the loop trail is known as the Great Blue Heron Trail. I would think for me, special wise is really where we are right now, sitting on the end of the boardwalk. Um, for me, it's just beautiful to come down and just sit, listen to the birds, watch the water flowing. On occasion, if you're quiet enough, you'll actually hear the beavers um, working, especially at dusk. So that to me is gorgeous. Um, and then also over at Iron Ore during the springtime with all of the migration of the waterfowl, um, just having that beautiful sunset with all the waterfowl coming in and roosting the wetlands, breathtaking.